So maybe you saw this tweet from Bill Oakley a few days ago. Now, if you don't know who Bill Oakley is, he actually used to write for The Simpsons, and he was a co-creator of Mission Hill, the critically underrated Mission Hill. And more importantly now, he has become a titan of the men in cars reviewing food genre on Instagram. The bread is a little hard and kind of crispy for my taste, but the turkey is excellent and the stuffing is fantastic. He uh, is one of the masters and a big inspiration for me, as a matter of fact. I do uh, have a lot of respect for Bill Oakley in his career as the Gordon Ramsay of fast food. Anyway, he tweeted this out. So I do hope he's watching this. That's actually why I've reversed the footage to have the driver's seat sitting on the left to make him feel a little bit more at home. Not unlike the way the US ambassador installed the device in the toilets to make them flow the correct American way in that episode of The Simpsons. Sweet land of liberty. That coincidentally, Bill Oakley co-wrote. So to me, that makes him an honorary Australian, really. So he's asking about the chicken chips and gravy. I have one here, just got it before. Now you may be wondering, what is on the chicken chips and gravy roll? Um, what's in that? Chicken and gravy. Okay, that sounds good. Thank you very much. Good to have that cleared up. Ooh. Now it smells pretty good, let's have a look. That is uh, ooh, just unsheathing this uh, creation here. You know, it's pretty simple stuff. Chicken, chips, gravy on a roll. And it's quite soft bun there, so that's good. I think it said on the description it's a crispy bun, but I don't really want a crispy bun. I want something soft to go with the gooiness of the chips and the gravy. Now, I can't really see many chips. Uh, here's one chip. So, here is a chip, not a fry, not a fry. No way, it's a chip. The shorter, fatter cousin to the French fry. I'll just give that a try. Mmm. Actually, these are really crispy today. I haven't had Red Rooster for quite some time. I'll just give this a go, and uh, then I can offer some Vicarious enjoyment for Mr. Bill Oakley, if he is watching. Hmm, that's quite good. She asked if I wanted extra napkins. Always get extra napkins if gravy is involved. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's, it's hard to mess this up, but you know, it's just good old fashioned cooking chicken chips gravy bread what else do you need yeah they they don't skimp on the chips these are quite good now in his tweet mr oakley asks two things is red rooster good and will they fly me out to australia to try the chicken chips and gravy roll on to the first question is red rooster good as you can tell it's it's just simple, old-fashioned cooking. Their main thing is barbecued chickens, or in America, I think they're called rotisserie chickens. So you can get a whole one of them, half or a quarter with chips. They also have like uh, peas and pumpkin and potatoes. So you can get like a roast chicken meal from Red Rooster pretty easily. Just homespun, good stuff. If there are any criticisms, you could say it was a little bit boring and maybe a little bit salty, but, geez. But their gravy is quite good. As I've mentioned before, I did drink an entire tub of Red Rooster gravy in my youth when I was a bit more reckless. So, is Red Rooster good? I'm not sure if it's, if it's great, but it's hard to be disappointed with Red Rooster. You really know what you're gonna get. Case in point, chicken, chips, and gravy roll. This, like, ticks every box. Like, you can't be unhappy if you order the chicken, chips, and gravy roll and got this. This really is it. Like, this is the apex. Much better than anything you could cook at home. That's always a good sign for fast food. Now, the second thing in Bill Oakley's tweet was, will they fly me to Australia to try it out? I went to Red Rooster themselves to ask that very question. Here is what that looks like. Hi there, 
I'm not sure if you are aware of this, but Simpsons writer and fast food critic, Mr. Bill Oakley, tweeted this to his 39.8 thousand followers tonight. As you could imagine, his Australian fans, myself included, were effusive with praise for the chicken, chips and gravy roll and for Red Rooster in general. So I was wondering, as part of a future promotion, would you consider paying for Bill Oakley to come to Australia and try a chicken, chips and gravy roll for himself? I have offered him the guest room at my place in order to save on accommodation costs. This could be really good promotion for Red Rooster. I think you should go for it. Please let me know what you think. I am not a crackpot. And they actually got back to me very quickly with this email. So, case not closed. I hope to hear more about this in the future. As I said in my message to Red Rooster, I am happy to have Mr. Oakley stay at my house if he wishes. I do have a guest room, it's got a double bed. I'm happy to take him on a tour of all the gourmet hotspots in the southeast Queensland area. I also have a ceramic Planet of the Apes piggy bank, which he might want to look at. And he, I, I'll, I'll give that to him, he can take that home. I've had a look on the internet, it's pretty rare. I think it might be counterfeit, but you know, I know he's a big Planet of the Apes fan. I read the, the oral history of that episode, or of that segment of the episode. So there we go, this was actually really good. I completely forget the price. There we go, that's how much it was. It really hit the spot for an afternoon snack. It's quite good. Actually, it may be a bit too substantial for a snack. I did miss lunch today because I had some stuff. So thank you, Mr. Oakley, for reminding me about Red Rooster. Red Rooster, if you're watching you know, already, this is proof of the Oakley effect. Imagine bringing him, bringing an influencer like himself to Australia to spruik for Red Rooster. I think you'd have a big hit on your hands. I think you'd be fools not to bring him over. And in fact, there seems to be a Red Rooster in nearly every airport I've been to. So he wouldn't even have to be here very long. He could just land and then 10 minutes later go to a Red Rooster and check it out. So there we go. Let's get it trending. Let's get Bill Oakley versus Australia trending. Let's do it, people. Bring Bill Oakley to Australia. Yes, please. Oakley. He uh, he tweeted about the chicken chips and gravy roll last night. Okay. Yeah, he's like a, a he used to write for The Simpsons, oh. and he's like a food reviewer now. Reviewer. A food reviewer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's pretty cool. I've never heard of him. Uh, he wrote uh, Bart versus Australia that episode. No. Yeah. Oh well. I must have to watch it. Yeah, it's pretty old. But, uh, it's, it's a Simpsons, is it? It's a classic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. And he's tried the chicken chips and gravy roll? No, he really wants to. Like, he lives in America, so he can't try it, but he wants to try it. To so, try yeah, he uh, is trying to get Red Rooster to, to pay for his flights. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe they should do a Red Rooster in America. Yeah, they should. Bring is it over there. Is KFC? Yeah, is fast food popular in America? I'm not sure. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that good? <laughs> Take care. Of All right. Yourself. Thank you very much. You too. See ya. You. Most most fast food employees hate me, so that was refreshing.